was a more than eventful day for the rider with the number one plate, the defending champ. Eli Tomac and the points leader coming into this East Rutherford round here in New Jersey. Let's talk qualifying practice. Look on the outside, bike one. Stu mentioned the hand came off and boom, down it goes. That was in practice and he limped away from his bike. Yeah, he got lucky right there. And, and next is AP to number seven. Looks like JS out there a few times, but come across, gets a oh. kick in the back and, and that was a big one, Ricky. Yeah, that, that was a big t hit right there. He landed right on his back on the takeoff of that next jump. And he, he hit hard, unfortunately, he, he wasn't able to race. Oh, now check this out. It turned out to be a great night for Justin Barsha, but it wasn't earlier in the day. He goes sideways and gets collected by Adam C and Cirillo, and the big, the big loss there was for AC. He didn't go any further on this day or night, and that was a lucky escape for Justin Barsha. Yeah, absolutely. Justin got lucky right there, and that was all dictated with the track being super slippery, but now look at it. It's a lot different right now. It looks like Chase Sexton pulls the whole shot lead got the whole shot and was looking good. But there's a big but coming, Ricky. We keep our eyes at the front of the field and you watch Justin Barsha in second because it's all about to unfold when he challenges for that top spot. Here comes Ken Roxon with a blinding move. He comes out of that corner, is able to double, puts the power to the ground, trying to get that clear track position, stay out of the wet and the mud. Check this pass out on Justin Barsha. I think it looks worse than it really was. Yes. He just barely tapped him. But listen, you have to do that in this situation, James. You know that. We've been in this position a million times. That clean air and clean vision is huge. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why you saw in both classes, the guys are super in, uh, aggressive in the beginning part. And I think today, what, it was like 73 days since he hit somebody or last person he hit? Well, kind of relapsed tonight. But I give him credit. And he kind of does the same thing to, uh, you know, Ken Roxon right here. It's important to be up front and he was able to do this he Same was. Pass for the lead. look at this dives on the inside Roxon got a little bit hung up and that gave Justin Barsha a nice instant advantage which he capitalized on and then this Roxon loses his rhythm and Eli Tomac is there to pounce hey this was a key moment by Ken, Ken Roxon pull the clutch in and not let that bike stall out would have been hard to get it cranked back up because these bikes are hard to get going once they've had so much engine heat built up. Do you remember James and Ricky saying it was a champion ride by Eli Tomac? It sure was, but it was a celebratory ride by Justin Barsha. He's been winless for more than two years, but in his home region, victorious aboard the Red Bull Troy Lee Design Gas Gas, and he could not be more thrilled. That was a long time coming for the new dad. And you weren't thinking he was going to celebrate? You betcha. Celebrate with a kick in the face of mechanic right there, but <laughs> uh, you, uh, man, this is what I do miss. Uh, they ask me about it a lot. I don't miss the mud, but I do miss uh, working with the team and all that. So congratulations, right. Justin. So, and Justin Barsha joins Ken Roxon, who was on the podium with Eli Tomac, who was on the podium with Cooper Webb and Chase Sexton as automatic qualifiers for the SMX playoffs later in the year. This is what the results look like. And if you let your eyes walk a little further down, how about Shane McElrath, Kevin Morans, Benny Bloss? There were a lot of personal bests there on this 2023 season. From the results to the points, and nobody's celebrating more than Eli Tomac, even more than Justin Barsha, because he's extended his lead with the rounds running out as far as Supercross racing is concerned, because his advantage now goes to 11 points over Cooper Webb. Coop had a bit of a rough night here in New Jersey.